Hey guys, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to take a look at how to add new themes to your PlayStation Classic. We're going to be using AutoBleam for this. I'm going with AutoBleam because they make it really easy to change your theme on your system. It's basically just dragging and dropping into this themes folder right here. I selected a few themes that I got from Reddit that have been added to the Mod My Classic Wiki, and I will leave a link in my description where you can access all of them. Basically, what you have to do is find the themes folder in each of these downloads. We've already extracted all our themes into individual folders. Let's take the Wild Arms theme to begin with. If we go into the next folder, you'll see you have a font, images, and sounds folder. So this folder right here is what we need to drag and drop into that themes folder on our flash drive. Basically, it'll look like this. The folder should be named theme, and then again, font, images, and sound. They may be named differently. This is for Resident Evil 2. If we go into this theme folder, then in RE2 folder, there's font, images, and sound. So whatever folder has these is what you need to copy over to your flash drive. So we've copied all our themes folder over here. All we have to do is insert this into the PlayStation Classic. So let's get to that. We're gonna do a little theme showcase. All right, we have Auto Bleam up and running. We're gonna hit the select button to go into our options menu and go down to menu theme. Let's go through the ones that came with it. All right, so Breath of Fire, we have the black one, a classic, Final Fantasy VII, Pepsi Man, Resident Evil 2, Silent Hill, and Wild Arms. So we'll just go in order. Let's start with Breath of Fire 3. We're gonna hit circle to go back, hit start to go into auto bling. Now I am gonna turn the audio up a little bit because some of these authors of these themes um, change the sound effects. And I think that's really cool. I want you guys to be able to hear that. So our first theme, like I said, comes from Mel Choir's Hut. This is the Breath of Fire 3 theme. I think this looks really good. Let's hear some of these sound effects. Very reminiscent of the game. That's really nice. I like that. Sometimes for some reason when you hit the back button in one of these themes, it takes a little bit to go back to the menu. I'm not sure if that's because of my flash drive being really slow or just how the system handles themes. I'm not really sure. If we hit triangle, we get the console button guide. Very nice. I really do like that back button sound. That's exactly how it is in the game. Really nice. Let's see what happens when we try and open a resume point. That's not there. How about the memory card screen? Oh, that's nice. They did a really good job with this theme. I like it a lot. I mean, they changed the background. They changed the art. I think they changed some of the font. It's hard to tell here, but they got these little icons for the different options. I think that was really good. And, you know, custom sound effects. Overall, this theme is really, really, really nice. Next up, we have the black theme by Rankin X. We have a straight up black background, but I do like that PlayStation Classic logo over on the side. I think that stylization is really neat. Also the quote over on the other side, live in your world, play in ours. Very cool. Also, you can see they have custom font for the play button. I think that's awesome. It looks really, really nice. So what else do we have customized? We have black everything, those little buttons next to the health and safety and the other options. Set triangle to go to the console guide, same as before. How about the memory card screen? Nice black memory card screen. And the resume point, nothing in the resume point. Nice theme, very simplistic, very minimalistic. Um, again, lots of kudos for the aesthetic on the font and the quotes and the PlayStation Classic icon over there on the side, like this one. All right, here's the PS Classic theme by Jay Gator. Um, I do like that turntable in the back. Nice background with the PS1 controller. Um, the icon of the PlayStation over there. That seems to be a DualShock controller though. Is that really a PlayStation Classic? Down in the corner you got the PlayStation logo, Retrowork, and Bleem Sync. And he's got his name over on the side. That's good to know. Um, I don't hear any sound. I thought that was just me. But I don't hear any sound effects. At all. Oh, what was that? Oh, when we go to settings, we get a little hand pointing down to the icons, which are custom. I like it. Nice icons there. Very good. The guides just looks like the instruction booklet for the PlayStation. And the memory cards, if we go in here, square grid. Not too bad. Is it triangle to go to the console button guide? Oh, this is cool. He has his own custom button guide. That's really nice. This is way different from the other one. I like this a lot. Really good. The arrows pointing where they need to go, what they do. I don't think I've seen this on the other themes. Overall, pretty good. I do like the, the turntable thing in the background. You don't see that on a lot of themes. 
I always thought that was a nice look, having it, uh, the games like sit on a disc kind of thing. Classic theme, very nice. Moving on to the Final Fantasy VII theme by Landon Burton. Really nice one. This is hitting those nostalgia buttons for me. All right. Got the menu sounds, really good. That's cool, I like that a lot. What if we hit the button guide? I like Cloud's picture over in the bottom corner. I think that's a nice addition. Background is really nice too with the Buster Sword sitting in the grounds. Very subtle, very nice. How about the memory card screen? We got the material right there. The font, I believe, is the same font that they use in the game as well. That re that makes me think of the font as well as the aesthetic with the blue on the little pieces of the background. Then one more, a resume point. Very good. A very, uh, that's a lot of attention to detail. That's really good. This is a really good theme. Like I said, I played Final Fantasy VII a ton. I think it's one of the very few games that I played over 100 hours on. So this theme is definitely doing it for me. I love everything about it. The sound effects are what really make it stand out, I think, though. I mean, they got it perfect on this one. All right, now we're getting into it. So this is the Pepsi Man theme brought to us by Rubik's Cube 6, who I believe is also responsible for the original Bleem Sync theme. So already, Pepsi Man pointing at you, telling you to drink. I love it. I love the disc in the back with the Pepsi logo. Everything about this is, is really great. If you haven't played Pepsi Man, you should. It's a really good game that came out, I think, only in Japan. Um, maybe we should play that someday. That would be cool. So anyway, let's take a listen. Oh, we have custom sounds. Kind of sounds like when you open up a Pepsi can, maybe. Or that could just be me, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I think that's a symbol now that I'm thinking about this. How about the memory card screen? <laughs> okay. Can we get one more? What's, what's this gonna be? <laughs> okay. So I don't know what I like more, just the general aesthetic of this whole thing or all these sound effects. I can't stop. I need to stop myself and move on. The Resident Evil 2 theme brought to us by Brosif420. So already, this is cool. You got the, that's the RPD. Yes it is. Oh, sound effects. You got the RPD station right there. That is definitely Resident Evil 2 sound effects. What if you go into settings? Oh, that. Oh, we have custom font here, too. Very nice. It's kind of hard to read, though. Was that on the main screen as well? That sound effects, they are spot on with these sound effects. They did an excellent job. Oh, they do have custom fonts. Yeah, the it's got the, um, yeah, the year and the publishers in that custom font. It's kind of hard to read, at least on my screen. Maybe on a bigger screen, it's a little bit more visible. Um, what else do we got? How about the triangle? All right, man, those sound effects, that brings me back. Yeah, but our memory card area, not too bad. Going into resume point with no save state. Got the no, no sound. Wait, is that an umbrella symbol? That is. Look at the okay. It's an umbrella symbol they snuck in there. How about that? So yeah, just like the Final Fantasy VII theme, I think they really brought out the atmosphere of the Resident Evil games with all these you know, menu sounds. They did a really good job with this. The Silent Hill theme by Han Solo 16. So this is my favorite game series of all time. I mean all time. I love Silent Hill. Real quick, I had some issues opening this up and that was because I changed the name of the theme folder. I changed it to Silent Space Hill. Don't do that. Apparently your themes folders have to be one word. So I changed it to Silent Hill with no space in between and it loaded up fine. Just something I thought I would mention in case you were having the same issue I was just having. So let's take a listen. Oh, the footsteps. Let's see if we can make it sound like we're walking. How about running? Okay, that's enough of that. Um, you see we have the symbol behind the play button, very nice. This background, I'm trying to spot what game this is from. It looks like it's from Downpour, but it could be concept art for Origins. That pillar or you know part of a wall right there makes me think Downpour, because I remember there was an area that looked like that. So I'm guessing Downpour, it could be Homecoming, but it looks kind of wet. Um, so maybe Downpour. Anyway, let's get into this. All right, so cool. Oh, they did a great job with this. Oh, I like how that symbol disappears. There it is. So that's the whole play button right there. Okay. Not sure what they were going with with the candy cane 
theme for the icons. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or if they were intending something else. That's okay. How about the settings menu? What was that? I don't know what that sound was, but it was really loud and creepy. Hold on one sec. Sorry. I'm going to do it again. Prepare your ears. It's either one of the patient demons that crawl around on the ground at Silent Hill 2, or it's their attack. I think. It's hard to tell. Or it could be one of the sniffer demons in Silent Hill 3. I'm not really sure, but that's what it sounds like. So, okay, that was uh, surprising. How about memory card? Very cool, and there's that symbol one more time. Let's back out of this. Okay, we got one more to listen to. Oh, that's so loud. What was that again? Sounds like a can being knocked over. I don't recognize that sound effect. I can't tell where that comes from, and I'm kind of upset with myself at that because I should know that. That's very disappointing. So cool. Very nice Silent Hill theme. I like this one. If anybody wants to make any more Silent Hill themes, let me know. Here's the Wild Arms theme, again, by Mel Choir's Hut. I didn't intentionally do that. I didn't know they did both themes. But just like their Breath of Fire theme, this looks really nice. You got all three characters right there. If you haven't played Wild Arms and you like turn-based RPGs, turn this video off or pause it, whichever. Start up your PlayStation Classic and play Wild Arms. It is an amazing RPG. Some of the battle graphics are a little bit dated. They're old, old 3D, but the gameplay is completely amazing. Go play it right now. Let's get to the theme. I remember that. I played this game a lot. I still have it. I do have this game. I actually have this game. And number two. I have Wild Arms 2 for some reason. Never played it. I don't know why. I need to take my own advice. They got the custom sounds for the menu music. That's really good. How about settings? Oh, man. Nostalgia trip again. These sounds. They're getting me every single time. These sounds are doing it. Man, this is bringing me way back. How about our memory card screen? That is really cool. That looks exactly like, I want to say, either the menu screen from the game or the memory card save screen. I remember the save screen used to have um, books when you saved it, and this menu looks exactly like, I want to say, the entire menu system on the game. They did a really good job with this. And I have to mention the font is exactly the same as from the game. Okay, we got one more thing to check. Resume point. I remember that from the game too. Isn't that so weird that the smallest thing can bring back so much? Like, I remember this sound. And I haven't played the game in years. It's probably been over 20 years since I've played the game. This probably had the same kind of effect that, you know, the Final Fantasy series had on me. I played this game a lot. So I'm really enjoying this thing. If I have to knock one thing on this theme, is that you can't see a hand pan on Jack's shoulder. So Mel Choir Sud, if you happen to see this, I want some hand pan in my theme. If you don't know who a hand pan is, he's like this, you know, magic rat squirrel thing from the game that sticks with that jack guy that's over on the side. He's on his shoulder. You can see him right there, just not all of them. I'd like to see all of hand pan, please. So overall, this theme is great. I think it captured the feel of the game 100%. The background is really well done. The custom sounds are all there. Um, and the custom font. Don't forget the custom font because that really stands out too. And also this font is really easy to read on the game titles. And it's really nice that they incorporated it into everything. The play button and also the options down here. Really good. So that's all the themes I checked out. And to be honest, I don't know which one I would choose to put on my system. I could see myself using any of these themes. They're all really good and very impressive. These artists should really be proud of what they did here. So like I mentioned before, I'll have a link in my description where you can find all these themes. If you make themes that I didn't get to showcase, feel free to shoot me a message or something. Um, and if I do another one of these, I'll make sure and I'll put it in the video for you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.